Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm so excited to have you with us today. We have so much to explore today. This week we are looking at insects, all things that crawl, things that fly, things that have lots of creepy crawly legs. So I'm so excited for you to join us today. And today we are gonna look at all things mini beasts. So that might be some ants, it might be some beetles, and it might be some bugs. So come along with us and let's see what we've got planned today. Hi, I'm Robbie. Hi, I'm Susie. Hi, I'm Miss Carly, the teacher. It's time for Home Time with Robbie and Susie. to explore some bugs with you today and I have a song about some beetles. You might know it. I'll sing it for you and then if you know it maybe you can join in with me next time. It goes like this. Beetles in the basin in the bathroom. Brown and black and blue. Beetles in the basin in the bathroom. I'm in the bathroom too. How embarrassing. I'm in the bathroom too. Do you know that song? Maybe we can try it again and you can sing with me. There's a few colours in there that I think you know. Are you ready? It goes like this. Beetles in the basin in the bathroom. Brown and black and blue. Beetles in the basin in the bathroom. I'm in the bathroom too. How embarrassing. I'm in the bathroom too. Did you like that song? I hope there's no beetles in your bathroom. I wouldn't like any beetles in my bathroom. Hey everyone, Susie and I are going to go on a bushwalk. We are looking for insects today. Would you like to come? I have found an ant's nest. The ants have piled up all the dirt. There's a big mound so the rain doesn't come inside the nest. Susie and I have found a bowbird nest. She's so excited to show you. Do you want to come see? Let's go. Now a bowbird, he collects blue objects. You might see blue objects on the ground. And he puts them all out to attract the girl bowbird. The bowbird is a black satin colour and he hops around and in the middle there's a nest that he's made. Can you see all the blue things that he's collected? We're just bushwalking behind some houses. So he's found all the blue pegs from people's houses and some blue lids and some other things. He's even added an onion skin, some wattle and a banksia. He must like yellow as well. And he's done it all to decorate his nest. So a girl bowbird will come and join him. What a great nest. Susie loves it. She's so attracted. I'm sure a girl bowbird would love to come into this beautiful nest he's made.
what Susie found. It's a humongous ant's nest. You can see how they've been putting all of the sand. The sand is here, the dirt is very sandy here. They've been digging, 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 and they even have a plant growing out of it because the plant's getting all the nutrients that the ants are leaving behind. Good job, Susie. What a great spotter you are. You found an ant's nest underneath a wattle tree. I love it. Susie and I found something exciting. Let's go see. Come this way. Over here, you can see an insect has laid its egg. You wouldn't normally see, but the sun's coming through the leaf. So you can see inside the leaf. On the other side, you can see where the insect has been. I wonder what will come out of that leaf. Oh, here's a green ant. A big bull ant in here. Oh, there's a lot of them. Susie's so having a good squeeze at them. Which path do we take? Let's go this one. Look, it's a spider. It's a curl leaf spider. He's got his spider web there, which you can't see well, but then that leaf in the middle of the spider web that looks like it's hanged up by nothing. There's a spider inside. It's time for Playtime with Robbie and Susie. Bye Susie. Have a nice day. Hello. I'm in the garden. What are you doing? I'm picking apples. Haven't you ever been apple picking before? Nope, but I'd love to help. I want to eat a red one. These ones are all red, Susie. <laughs> Good morning, Susie. Good morning, Robbie. Miss Carly. Those look like some yummy a -a apples. Are you ready to play some games today? Yay! I have a feeling we might come across some apples in our games. Which game are we going to play today? Go, little bee, go! <laughs> Picture freeze! We're going to play Picture Freeze. Are you ready to sing and dance together? I wonder what the picture will be. What's this? Tigers on tables. That's right. Tigers on tables. Let's sing it together. Tigers on tables. T -t -t -t. 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 And freeze. Good freezing. Well done. <laughs> I wonder what the next picture will be. What's this? Ants eat the apple. That's right. Ants eat the apple. Ah, ah, ah. Let's sing it together. Ants eat the apple. Ah, ah, ah. 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 And free. 
amazing. Well done! <laughs> I wonder what the next picture will be. What's this? Snakes are sliding. That's right! Snakes are sliding. S -s -s -s. Let's sing it together. Snakes are sliding. S -s -s -s. 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 And freeze! Good freezing, Susie. <laughs> What pictures did we discover today? Tigers on tables. T -t -t -t. Ants eat the apple. Ah, ah, ah. Snakes are sliding. S -s -s -s. Yay! Thanks for playing games with me today. I'll see you next time. Goodbye! <laughs> Let's eat more apples. More, 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 more! Yeah! Uh-oh! The ants are eating the apples! Oh! Just like in our favourite song! Ants eat the apple, ah, ah, ah! Ants eat the apple, ah, ah, ah! This has been fun, but it looks like we're out of time! I'm tired. <laughs> I think it's time to go home. Bye, Susie. Bye, Robbie. Hey, everyone. I'm super excited as we explore mini bits today. I have a book all about ants. Would you like to read it with me? It's called Millie Loves Ants. I wonder who Millie could be. Do you think it's this beautiful girl over here? Or there's a kidna? Let's find out. Millie loves ants. Oh, you can see the ants crawling around and around and around. They do lots of work, ants. My friend Millie just loves ants. Is this Millie or is this who's talking? Her whole world is ants and ants. I think it's over here. Look what Millie found. One, two, three ants. I think it's the friend talking about it and here's Millie and she loves ants. Do you love ants? I wonder what she's going to do with these creepy, creepy ants. Ants in pot plants or on the path. Creeping around, finding some food. Ants that leave beneath the bath. <gasps> These are black ants. Look, they're taking the soap and the toothpaste, the toothbrush. I wonder what they're going to do with that. Ants that crawl up my pants. <laughs> Has that happened to you? Have ants tickled you as they've gone up your leg? She's eating watermelon and the ants are coming to get some and taking your apple for dinner. Ants that make me jump and dance. I know when ants crawl up my leg, they make me dance. Ants in the kitchen. Oh, I forgot about your yummy food. Ants in the shed. Oh no, a purple ant. They were green ants, but the paint made him purple. Ants on a picnic. Look at all those cupcakes, watermelons, strawberries. Ants on my bed. They're taking the book. I wonder if they're going to read it. Ants that live in a hollow tree. Look, here she is coming through to eat the ants on the other side. Ants that make their homes of leaves. These are special ants their nest in the trees and they make silk to make their home protected from the rain. Ants in tunnels and ants in mounds. 
Oh, wow, look at all the food they've got. Flowers and strawberries and pears and watermelon, all in their home. Drag down to breeze to their towns. Oh, here we go, even more food over here. And look, even half-eaten apples. The apple cores. If you've eaten a yummy, yummy apple, then the ants will come and get the core and eat it up. Small but mighty hunter ants help make soil to feed the plants. All the food breaks down and then see all the plants here and the roots, they go down and they can eat the plants as well from the food, making them strong. So good we have ants to look after us. These are special honey ants. Can you see the honey in, in its abdomen? So yummy. Queen ants fly before the rain. Soldiers fight a war campaign. Soldiers are the ants are fighting each other. These ants have the strawberries and these ones have grapes and they're fighting with each other. If there's just a chance of ants, Millie's nose must do its dance. Look, there's Millie's nose and she's found some more ants. Why so many spiny friends won't your crunchy ever, ever end. So Millie is finding more and more ants to eat for yummy dinner. Millie trundles through the trees, wildflowers bending in the breeze. She's looking and looking. Even her friends helping her, looking for ants. I think Millie found some. Where the sunlit tussocks glow, the dusty wombats dig below. And here's Millie looking for some more ants. She's following their trail. And I follow. Now I know where most of Millie's ants will go. Where could it be? Let's have a look. and all her ants to her baby echidna to give it lots of milk to feed. What a great story. Now we know what Millie does with her ants. Thank you so much for listening. But I do have an art experience for us today and we're going to make our own ants. And it's so easy. All we have is a piece of paper and then I've got some textures a glue stick and I'm going to use some round patty pans because our ants have round bodies <gasps> and I'm going to glue them on my page and make my artwork. But Karina, why I get ready, would you like to put some grass along the bottom? Sure because my ants are going to go marching as well and I'm going to use, oh look at those long grass coming up. I'm going to use my yellow patty pans and I'm going to make a bull ant because there are bull ants outside, but I hope you don't ever get bitten by an ant. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna oh, flatten out our patty pans to make a circle body. So I'm gonna have one, and I'm gonna have two. Oh, what a great job. Have a look at our long grass. Oh, our ants are gonna have fun marching in that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my glue stick and I'm gonna go, Oh, round and round and round. I'm gonna put lots of glue on. And I'm gonna stick him right oh, here. Oh, gotta put lots of glue on and make sure they stick down. Stick, 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 stick. Ant's gonna be so great. Oh, he is. He's gonna be a big, maybe it's like the mummy ant. <laughs> it is gonna march along. Now tell me. How many legs does an ant have? I think they have six. Karina, I think you might be right. I think they might have six. So we're going to go oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, and then I might need to put an eye and a mouth and some little antlers on mine. Oh, and I might even put a little 
a little stinger on the back of mine. <gasps> Can you see my ant? Oh, I think he looks pretty cool. And do you know what? That's such an easy way that you could make an ant at home as well. But maybe there's some other ways. Karina, do you know any other ways we could make ants? I was thinking that you could do them with paint and your finger. So I'm gonna dip my finger into the black paint because I like my ants to be paint. Ooh, I bet that's nice and cold. <laughs> And I'm gonna do like a marching one, two, three. <gasps> and I'm gonna do. Can you see her ears? <laughs> okay. And then I'm gonna use my paintbrush to add the six little egg, egg legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then a little antler. Wow, what a fun way to make ants and so simple just using your finger. You could do lots on here. And then do you know what? You could even add more things with your textures. You might like to maybe draw some trees and maybe your ants could be marching up the trees. <gasps> maybe they could be carrying some food because ants sometimes come and steal all the crumbs from picnics. Or maybe you might put some raindrops. I might put some raindrops on ours. Look, because my ants are, whoop, rain, rain, go away. Because look, my ants are trying to get out of the rain, just like in our song. Well, do you know what? I would love for you to keep exploring ants at home. And do you know what? You might do a painting just like this one, or maybe you could use some recycled items like egg cartons and you might be able to paint them and maybe put some legs on that and make a 3D ant as well. But if not, we actually have a link below of a video that actually shows you an ant farm. So maybe you might like to go and watch that with your family as well. Well, thanks for spending time with us today and we hope you've enjoyed exploring all things insects. Bye.